Hey, what's up, you guys? WWE Fan 0599 here again, and today we're going to be reviewing episode 6 through 9 of Arrow. So yeah, if you have not seen these episodes, there will be spoilers ahead, so do not watch this review if you have not seen them. So let's start off with episode 6 entitled, Guilty. So, um, yeah, what I think of this episode. I was kind of bored throughout this episode, and not that many things went down in this episode, in my opinion. Except for a few things, but we'll get into those. Yeah, I felt things were dragging this episode. I felt they were kind of, uh, you know, just kind of dragged on, in my opinion. But I still enjoyed it. So, I did like that Roy had some great development in this episode, in my opinion. I did like that Roy had some great development. You know, with um, the whole thing about him thinking he was the killer of Sarah. It was great. I really enjoyed seeing that from this episode. It's time to give my official grade on episode 6. And my official grade on episode 6 is a B+. Plus. So let's move on to episode 7 entitled Draw Back Your Bow. So what, so what I think of this episode. This was a great episode in my opinion. I think... Draw Back Your Bow was a fantastic episode, in my opinion. I liked the tension between Oliver and this girl named Cupid. I, well, that's not her actual name, but that's the criminal's name, basically. And I really, and I like that, you know. I like that he, the scene where he's trying to, what is it, seduce her to, to try and, um, you know, capture her, basically. thought that was kind of cool. The action in this episode was great. You know, the action's always great in my opinion. My only negative with this episode, I've got to say, is got to be Thea's hiring DJs. And she gets this one guy. She gives him his paycheck and they start kissing. And you're like, are, are you serious? Like, is she seriously going to go on to another guy? And it's like, really? You know, I just felt like, why is this happening? Where am I? And what's going on? You know, I felt you seriously had to shove that in. Yeah, I just hope they forget about it, and it looks like they are forgetting about this whole thing. I think it was only mentioned once in the Flash vs. Arrow thing. I, I don't know. But, so yeah, that was my only problem with this episode. Besides that, this episode was a great episode, in my opinion. I really enjoyed it. So it's time for my official grade on Draw Back Your Bow, and my official grade on Draw Back Your Bow is an A. I really enjoyed this episode. This was a great episode, in my opinion. So let's move on to episode 8, entitled, The Brave and the Bold. So the Brave and the Bold, I'm not going to give my full thoughts about this episode. I'm going to tell you why, because I did a whole review about this with 22 Tiger Dude himself on, this, on his channel. So he might have a link or something in the description, I don't know what, but check out that review if you guys have haven't seen it, check out both parts, part one and part two, so yeah. So, I'll give you just my really quick thoughts on this episode. So what did I think of this episode? I thought it was a pretty good, I, pretty good, this was a great episode, I loved this episode. This was, we're back to the fantastic episodes now. This was a fantastic episode in my opinion. I loved this episode, you know. It is by far the second best episode of this season. It was great. By far the best thing about this episode is the chemistry between Oliver and Barry. It is great. You know, you want to see more team-ups with these guys. It is awesome, okay? I love that about this episode. They just have so much great chemistry with each other. So, yeah. also like the villain of this episode, Captain Boomerang. He was pretty cool. So, yeah. So, it's time for my official grade on the Brave and the Bold. And my official grade on the Brave and the Bold... It's an A+. Plus. This is a great episode. I loved this episode. So let's move on to the final episode for this review. And that is The Climb. This is the mid-season finale of Arrow. And what this episode is basically about. It's, you know, about Oliver. He wants to now fight Ra's al Ghul. Because, he, because you know, he poses himself as the killer for Sarah. But we'll get into who it actually was in a second. This was great, okay? This 
Wow. Uh, the climb was a fantastic episode. I mean, definitely by far the best episode of this season so far. Or of the, of the entire series. Okay, this was great. Uh, right off the bat, we find out who finally killed Sarah, and that was Thea. Ah, what? What? It was Thea the entire time. You know, I thought it was Raz Al Ghul. You know, um, that's who I thought it was, but no, Thea. That was a completely curved ball for me. It, 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 just wow. Even though I have a big problem with love stories and superhero stuff, you know, I really think it's just kind of thrown in there, you know, in my opinion. But I did really like the scene between Oliver and Felicity. I did like that scene. He's basically telling her, I'm not coming back, you know. I'm basically going to die, you know, he's, that's what he's telling her, and I really like that scene. And of course, we gotta talk about the ending between Oliver and Ra's al Ghul. That fight scene was awesome, okay? Ra's al Ghul is awesome, but he will never be better than Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson will find you, and he will kill you. Ra's al Ghul from Arrow, he will. But, but, th he was just... Awesome, okay, the, it, Raz al Ghul, now I'm officially sold on Raz al Ghul being awesome. And of course, we get the shocking ending, the biggest shocking ending of last year, in my opinion, for any show. Yes, even more than The Walking Dead, Game of Thrones, any show. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Oliver Queen is dead. It's, wow. You know, it's just like, that was another curveball thrown right at me, you know. He, it's just like, okay, is he gonna really kill him? It's like, and I was like, that was my face for the last few minutes of this episode. You know, in complete shock of this, complete shock of this. And it it was awesome in my opinion. Yeah. Good. Bravo, guys. You you did a great job. You were by you made by far the best mid season finale of any show in my opinion that I have seen. Definitely it was great. So I guess it's time for my official grade on episode nine. If I might be sugar cold. It's an A plus people. This is a fantastic episode. I mean, this is by far the best episode of this entire season. In this entire series, so far, it really is. You know, it was hit, 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 after hit, after hit, after hit with this episode, okay? So what did you guys think of all these episodes? Leave them in the comment section below. I'm WWE Fan 0599, and we will see you all next week, where I will be starting the weekly episode reviews. Peace.